Low blood volume in POTS is one of those things that is pervasive in the research, right? But it's kind of like, and then what? Because we give them IVs or we do things to bolus more blood flow. They help for a period of time and then it goes back. So there's something about the way your body is kind of managing its own blood supply that's not working correctly. While I think it's okay to think about it as like, I'm not getting enough blood everywhere. Sometimes it's because volume changes, but a lot of times it's because it's an allocation problem where your body can just be in a position where it's not able to maintain a steady blood volume, not just necessarily in total blood volume, but also like how it's being distributed throughout the body. This is the concept of pooling, but pooling can be, it doesn't just mean it goes to your feet. Sometimes people may have a neglect syndrome or problem with understanding where their body is. We see all the time where people will have like profoundly loss of sensation, but it's in like one side of their body and they have neglect. And it's like, also we tend to notice that blood pools differently when people have altered sensations. So if you kind of copy and paste that into other people, you realize like your body has to have a map of how you feel everything and that map of what you feel also correlates to how you move and part of movement is moving blood around within your own body so when we see errors with that the place that tends to get starved that we notice because it doesn't feel good is when we starve it from our head we're not adequately getting blood into the head